There has been a recent change to the mandatory information noted in EPR in relation to flagging veterans and military personnel. This is a statutory requirement in line with the Armed Forces Covenant. The Armed Forces Covenant is a promise by the nation ensuring that those who serve or have served in the Armed Forces and their families are treated fairly. The Armed Forces community should not face disadvantage compared to the assisted citizens in the provision of public and commercial services. Special consideration is appropriate in some cases, especially for those who have given most, such as the injured and the bereaved. The NHS commitments under the Covenant. Family members should return their place on the NHS waiting list if moved around the UK due to the service person being posted. Veterans should receive priority treatment for a condition which relates to their military service subject to clinical need. Those injured in service should be cared for in a way which reflects the nation's moral obligation to them by healthcare professionals who have an understanding of the armed forces culture. Part of this would require us to identify veterans and serving personnel in our care. For staff who are dealing directly with patients face to face or over the phone, you can ask the question, have you or your family ever served in UK armed forces, including national service? If yes, please record this onto the new area on EPR. If one of the military options have been selected, this will trigger a subsequent military service drop down where you can then select the appropriate option. If you are not with the patient and you have no information to confirm the military status either way, please click unknown. This question can be asked again if and when the patient presents to the trust. We will be rolling out training for staff in due course, but in the meantime, if you would like to know more, more about the Armed Forces Covenant and the needs of the service families, please go to NHS Healthcare for Armed Forces eLearning for Healthcare. If you have any further questions, please contact Fiona Matteson, Armed Forces Lead, who will endeavour to assist you.